Iceland has seen over 5,000 earthquakes in the last couple of days. There's been a mandatory evacuation and they're bracing for the worst case scenario. If you're new here, hi, my name is Nicole. I cover current events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Make sure to like and follow for more so that you don't miss my next current events update. Let's get into what's going on in Iceland and how it could relate to biblical prophecy. And I'm going to take this in a direction that you probably aren't expecting, so make sure to stick around. First, let's talk about Iceland. Iceland has seen over 5,000 earthquakes in the last couple of days. They've even evacuated a small town in anticipation of a major volcanic eruption. They're hoping for the best, but bracing for the worst. Let me show you something that I think could be related. According to NASA, the Earth is being hit by a direct coronal mass ejection and causing auroras to be seen in unique places. I found this post on Facebook and let me show you his pictures. Brace yourself because these photos are absolutely jaw dropping and the photographer said that these photos don't even do the colors that he saw justice. Earth to suffer direct CME or coronal mass ejection hit according to NASA. This was published on November 11th. That's today. I already know that this is going to be extremely controversial, but look at this. In this article dating back to 2020, the article suggests that there is science that shows it is possible that solar activity can cause larger earthquakes. Let me show you. New research published in July of 2020 actually shows that there's evidence that large solar eruptions can trigger mass earthquake events. I already know that the volcanologists and seismologists are going to rip me apart on this one, but here's the scientific study, and let me show you something else. The conclusion of the study actually shows a high correlation between large earthquake events and solar wind. You can see it for yourself right here. Do thousands of earthquakes going on in Iceland qualify as a large earthquake event? Maybe, maybe not. But take a look at this in the last couple of days of october japan actually experienced an undersea volcanic eruption that's now led to the formation of an island take a look at this here is another photo of that undersea volcano erupting off the coast of japan simultaneously forming a new island but here's something that no one seems to be talking about even though it's the most current news out there there's a super volcano in italy and it seems to be waking up. Now, the last major eruption of Campi Flagre was in 1538. Activity has been picking up since December, and scientists are concerned that the supervolcano is reawakening after generations of rest. That word generations sure did catch my eye. And before you think that I'm being all dramatic, there were over 3,400 earthquakes at this location in August of this year alone. There was even a meeting on October 5th to update the evacuation plans because there are millions of people who would have to be moved within a 72 hour period should this supervolcano wake up. Now let me tell you my thoughts on how all of this together relates to biblical prophecy. First up, these photos and this entire experience. Could this be considered a sign from the sun? Because if a sign like this doesn't wake you up, I don't know what will. The funny thing is everyone wanted to know when Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah, was going to make his return before he ever left. In the 24th chapter of the book of Matthew, you can read all about what he had to say regarding signs of the end times. He mentions wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes in diverse places. Not only that, but Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah, answers them saying, even so, when you see all of these things, you know that it, his return, is near. He says, truly, I tell you that this generation that sees these things begin to come to pass will not pass away 
until it has happened. In this chapter, Yeshua refers to those who are in the land of Judea. You see, for the last few thousand years, Israel didn't exist. It wasn't until 1948 that these prophecies could begin to truly be fulfilled. If you don't know Jesus or you feel like your life is not in the place that you would want it to be, should he return tomorrow, I encourage you to take a minute and pray. Pray that if you don't know him, he would reveal himself to you, just like he did for me. Pray if you are off the beaten path and you've taken the route of the prodigal son, that you make your return in time. He stands at the door and knocks. He is coming soon. Until next time, Shalom.